We're joined now by the Board of Finance Chairman, John Quartz. John, thanks for being here to talk a little bit about the upcoming April 22nd budget referendum. Uh, first of all, as Chairman of the Board of Finance, uh, tell us what uh, uh, motivated you to support the budget that was sent forward to the Legislative Council and subsequently will uh, come before the voters on Tuesday. Uh, I think the budget that we put forward to the Council is very comprehensive. Um, deals with a lot of important issues uh, from school security to um, addressing the trends in the school system to taking care of some important issues like our uh, self-funded uh, uh, insurance and uh, also adds a little bit more to roads. So it's a very well-rounded budget. Um, it's pretty all-inclusive uh, and has a, very, has a lot of very important parts and uh, we're very proud of the budget that we put forward and it was unanimously endorsed by the Board of Finance. What would you have to say to uh, taxpayers and voters here in Newtown uh, regarding Tuesday's uh, referendum? I would say that this budget is a little bit different than ones in the past in that we had a little bit of a luxury in having the town grand list grow a little bit. Um, I think it's uh, hopefully it's going to be representative of budgets that we see going forward wherein most importantly, we're, uh, we're able to put forward a budget that not only um, uh, provided for a number of uh, services, but also uh, uh, increased spending slightly. But because of the fact that we had our grand list grow, uh, we were able to offset that with additional revenue. So uh, the good news is, is that we're able to do a little bit more, um, but not have to raise taxes. Uh, spending did increase a little bit, but it was offset by the growth in the grand list. So we do not have to raise taxes, which I think should come as a uh, as welcome um, uh, news to a lot of the taxpayers in town. 